Yeah, 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 it's your boy Champ, and this is the Champ is Here Show. And what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Long Champ, co-hosting. Okay, okay, so, um... Oh, shout-outs, real quick, shout-outs to the viewers, shout-outs to Culture Media. Appreciate all you guys' feedback. Um, we got some more content for you guys. Last week, we was chatting a little bit about 6 9 that whole, that whole, uh, that whole debacle. Yeah. I talked a little bit about that revolt summit. Okay. So, yeah, catch up on those episodes if you haven't. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah, so, um, today's episode, we were talking a little earlier about the, um, and Gabe, you know, I want you to explain a little more to me, you know, what's going on in the NBA right now, um, with China, because I really don't understand what's going on. Yeah, on my way over here, I just seen, uh, I saw a video Actually, that was just posted, like, I think three or four hours ago. Um, I see over in Hong Kong, they're burning bronze jersey. Okay. I'm like, yo, what the? I'm like, yo, what is going on? Okay. I did kind of, like, see, you know, there was a little chatter about um, a tweet that somebody put out. Um, and then I was like, man, I definitely got to go back and really. So why are they burning LeBron's <laughs> jersey? Well, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take it because LeBron made a comment about what the dude with the original guy had tweeted. The, who's so, the original dude? Um, so this this dude, uh, Daryl Morey, he's a uh, exec over at uh, on the Houston Rockets. He's a uh, he's the GM over there. Okay. He he tweeted something that I would say you know isn't you know is actually a good thing to do as far as like showing support. He he was showing support for the people out in Hong Kong because he doesn't agree with uh, the most recent legislature that they just put out. Okay, uh, so, so, so so he's he's more for the people. All right, that's that's cool. Being for the people, so right, 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 right. so what's going on in Hong Kong that he's that he's talking about um, protesting? What is, what's going on? Well, basically, um, they put out a a congressional yeah, a congressional uh, legislature. Um, yeah, because I'm that, seeing I'm seeing pictures of LeBron James. They put with Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Now, yeah, it's basically a, it's an extradition bill. That's that basically states that like anybody who like commits like a crime, they can get um, extradited to the mainland in China um, so, from Hong Kong. So basically, uh, how extradi- uh, extradition works is basically if you commit a crime in your another country, that country can grab you up and send you back over there. Yeah, send and say, you back to your home country that 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 you uh, that you're from. Okay, so basically they're telling everyone, listen, we're giving you, we seen what 6 9 did. <laughs> we're giving you the opportunity to bring these guys back <laughs> after they dip. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of protests going, that's, going that's, on about that. That's fine. I, I get it. And this guy, Daryl Morey, is, you know, supporting them. He's like, the tweet that he, he wrote was, uh, fight for freedom and he stand, stand with Hong Kong. Um, that that was the tweet that he that he put out. So like, now, so, that. so after this, now he said that. So what what did LeBron? What was LeBron? Well, before we get there, the Chinese officials, the China, you know, Chinese, you know, uh, political uh, the, the strategists and the other Chinese officials, some of them all here and abroad, disagreed with that. And the ones who are actually um, in Houston, uh, in the embassy in Houston, um, put out a statement. That straight up that they're just that they uh that they're not supporting that statement you know that De- Daryl Morey they disagree with that and they are starting to cut some ties with the NBA. So so is the NBA now because of all of this? What what is the NBA got? Obviously because I NBA is a business you yep. know just like anything else and when you when someone in your organization does something to you know especially another country you know you're gonna start to lose some money. It's you know fact. what I mean? So yeah. I'm assuming because, you know, no shade to China, you know, no shade to other countries, but this is where a lot of things are manufactured. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So China is not the country you want to piss off. As a matter of fact, I, did, did we borrowed some money from China. I don't I know we, we, we didn't pay that debt yet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Too? So yeah. Yeah, this dude got to chill. That logistics, you got to chill. The, the money, yeah. The money that's involved with the league and the so NBA. I'm also hearing something. That, am I am I jumping too far? I'm hearing something about freedom of speech and what, yeah, nah, what's, so, what's going on with that? I mean, that that kind of comes in now with some of the statements that LeBron had made because he uh, because he was asked about he was asked about what 
what Daryl has said, you know, like, you know, he was also asked about the league's response to it um, because the league responded right away and they were they were saying right away that they're not involved, that they don't back his statement. Mm. Um, they're trying to, of course, cover themselves because they, like I said, they cut, they're cutting ties and uh, putting a, you know, a hold on a lot of business with the, with the Houston Rockets directly and also with the NBA. They're, they're, the media is not going to the games that they had. They had a preseason game mm. last week. Um, and no media support there. China's um, basically saying we're not fucking with you. That's right. it. Basically, that's what yeah. they're saying. You know what I'm either, saying? Either, y'all need to, either we need to, uh, you know, put some, you know, <laughs> put a statement out saying, like, you know, Maury, you know, Daryl Maury probably going to be removed from his position or something like that. I don't know if that's going to satisfy them. Uh, but uh, right now, they're not happy. And nah, the what they're going to say is, listen... You got to, first of all, we need more Asians in the NBA. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> we need more of them in the NBA. You know what I mean? We, we support y'all. You know what I mean? But fuck that. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. But just to get real quick to this little LeBron's situation uh, and to why they was burning his, his whole jersey, he, he responded. He was just saying that uh, he felt that this dude was probably a little misinformed. Um and he shouldn't have. We, he shouldn't just be coming out with a statement until he gets all the facts. Now, him now making that statement, he's trying to you know play that mediator, stay in the middle. He doesn't want to be on his side, of course, because he knows that's kind of being a detriment to the relationship they have with China. At the same time, he don't want to you know back the people of China because then he might end up losing some endorsements himself. And he, you know, it's kind of put him in between Basically, the he's the saying, yo, listen, man, I need these LeBron James to keep being made. I need these, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't mess with my money. <laughs> yeah, you know, so chill out. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. What is going on in and Hong so Kong? So now the people not feeling that over there. They're like, yo, you're not supporting us, Brian? Come on, we watch all your games. We buy your sneakers. <laughs> you making sneakers. <laughs> making sneakers. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, it's, I know it by heart. I know everything about it. <laughs> You know, we make the jerseys, we make, oh, man. But hey. So as far as what would be affected, potentially, like them losing business with China, um, China accounts for approximately $500 million um, worth of revenue when it comes to ticket sales, mm. um, merchandise sales, mm. um, and all the other intangibles. Mm. Uh, it's, you know, any anything that involves, like, any of these... Uh, um, exhibition games that are held overseas, TV rights, things like that. So, sorry, it's about half a billion. That's a lot of money. Sorry. Yeah. So some of the some some it's other stuff I was billion. reading. That. Some of the NBA teams are starting to take some precautions. So now I'm I'm Very assuming since the caps. NBA. So I'm assuming if the NBA is going to be losing money, mm-hmm. I'm assuming. I'm just throwing this out there. Somebody's going to have to pay for that. So, are they gonna still have these? The players are still gonna have these big contracts. That's what that's what I was just saying. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the NBA deals. They are a little bit worried now about uh, future future deals because if NBA is gonna be losing money, they might make some changes to the salary cap. So put it this way: in turn, affect the players. So course. this is this is and this is what I think, right? Mm-hmm. You see. The point that I was trying to make was that freedom of speech isn't free. Right. I see what right? you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, mm-hmm. and um, what was that? There was a, when you was in the, what was that dude, the Master Boy Scouts? This is dude, I remember the, the head of the Boy Scouts. So we he? had uh, Mr. Purchase. Mr. Purchase. And he told me, he said, Kevin, nothing in life is free. The only thing that's free is air, and even that's killing you. <laughs> right? I remember you telling me this a long time ago. Yeah. He said, nothing is free. So freedom of speech, I get it. You know, you have the right to say something. But when you say things, they come with consequences. You feel what I'm saying to you? And that's cool. You can say what you want. But we're in a world now where it's business-oriented. It's, we're moving more and more into the private sector. It's more investors, more CEOs, more entrepreneurs, more stocks and all that, portfolios, all of that. So when you say something, it's going to affect a whole bunch of people. You know what I mean? So I, you got to be careful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to yeah. you? You got to be careful. 
You got to be careful. Because whatever you're going to say is going to just fuck up everyone's bread. You know? So you got to keep... And that's what my thing is. Just make your bread and mind your business. So you can mind your business. You see, what happened was this dude... All right. He jumped out the window, said his shit. No problem. I respect that. No, nah, yeah, of course. I mean, what you got to look at it. If you're just looking at what he said, not inv- not involved with anything, any any of his, what his job entails, like the position that he, you know, that he's in, you're going to look at him like, you know, a great person. Like, you know, you know, he's standing, you know, he's standing up for his beliefs. He's standing up for others as well. But guess he, what? He is a GM. <laughs> he's about to get Kaepernick. <laughs> he's about to. Once you fucking with their money, <laughs> once you start fucking with their money, I had my boy was in his apartment, right? Mm-hmm. Water leaks, you know, crib was getting fucked up, whatever, whatever. And he believed that he was supposed to be compensated for that, you know, mold and stuff like that. He believed. He was supposed to be compensated for that. So now he tells the landlord, yo, I'm not paying you for that. I'm not mm-hmm. going to pay you. With, with, can we work something out with the money? Immediately the landlord said, get your shit and get Mm-mm. the fuck out. No, <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying to you? Lord. So I'm telling him, yo, that's your fault. You know what I'm saying to you? You don't have a lease agreement. You know what I'm saying to you? That's on you. You know, you agreed to the terms. You you went in as is. You took it as is. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a grievance, and this is what's so beautiful about learning <clears throat> um, a law agency law, you know what I'm saying? It's your due diligence. If you have a grievance, you got to take that up with the court. Or hopefully you can keep it out of the court. But if he's saying, listen, I'm going to fix it on my time, you got to eat that. That's a fact. So when you fuck with the money, <laughs> it's a wrap for you, bro. That's it. That's a fact. It's a wrap for you. So listen, money make the world go round. That's a fact. So. And real quick, I mean, being that you have brought up Kaepernick, I did want to kind of just touch on that. Uh, okay. The quarterbacks real quick that we we, we looking at. So, so this season, my, um, my boy Junior had brought this up to me last week, and I was just doing a little research on that. Um, there is a there is a lot of uh, black quarterbacks that are starting this year, um, so I think uh, I think we could we could definitely coin it the the year of the black quarterback as far as the most productive uh, years when it comes to so who's, starting quarterback. So who's who to be? Shout out of? shout out a few of them. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Okay, he's doing he's top quarterback right now. All right. Um, even though you know right now this week last week they you know they weren't doing that great. They got a few injuries, but. Um, I've still put the Chiefs in a, in a conversation. Um, Dak Prescott. Um, I'm sure you already know about um, uh, what's the guy from uh, Cam Newton from the uh, Panthers. Russell Wilson. He's already he's already uh, been proven. Um, Wat- Deshaun w- Watson. I think his name. Deshaun Watson. Um, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Okay. So we got, we got a few of them, and, they, and they're doing well. They're doing well. I mean, of course, um, the you know, top names to Tom Brady and all those other quarterbacks so are going to still be in the conversation. But um, Pat Pat Mahomes is looking like this might be his year. So I want to ask you a question. I, I want to know how many black quarterbacks are in the league to begin with. Very. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, too? How many that's compared to who? Like, if it's one thing if it's like. Starting black quarterback? Or black oh, no, he's just saying. I think he's just saying in, in general. No, starting, but starting. I think it's like seven or eight, somewhere around there. If you yeah, had, now that's, Taylor. that's what's most interesting to me. Yeah. How many starting black quarterbacks you have, and then how many of them are doing exceptional? So if you have at almost every starting black quarterback that's it's black doing, that's doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All those, if, if, if all of them are in the, in the, let's say, top 15, top 20, then uh, you know they're doing something, which I think they are. Um, I don't know how well – I forgot about Tyrod Taylor. I don't know how, how well he's doing right now. Oh, and Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston is also starting. And what I'm alluding to is yeah. if they all doing nice, then maybe you should start recruiting more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, you know, you have a – you have a Larry Bird. 
in the NFL, Tom Brady. As far as yards yards right now, the top five or three of the top five are black guys. Mahomes, Prescott, and Jameis Winston when it comes to passing yards right now. Out of all the, the top so five. So the top five qu- quarterbacks right now with the with the pass the top passing yards? Period. Yeah. Regardless of Right race. now, yeah. Right now. And it's Mahomes, Matt Ryan, Dak Prescott's number three, Phillip Rivers is number four, Jameis Winston's number five. That's right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> I thought that everyone was gonna clap with me. Shit. <laughs> you know, you in the crowd, you the one person, the slow clap. Yeah, that's how you get it started. <laughs> Somebody gotta be the brave. The brave and when you don't, when no one claps with you, you're like, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> oh fuck, man. Anything else you want to touch on, real quick? Yo, real quick. Yeah. I know this is off topic. You know, speaking of embarrassing moments, I seen a kid, man. I felt bad for him, bro. He came to school with, um, you know, back in, with, what do you call those again? When you came with the, when you had to do a presentation, you had like that uh, big. Uh, oak tag, whatever. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about. The big, you know. So he had like fucking Skittles and flowers asking a girl out to, I think, homecoming or prom, but I'm pretty sure it was homecoming. Okay. And he asked in front of everybody. And she was like, nah. And the whole school was like, oh, because everyone was recording it. I think he was making the whole spectacle. I was, uh, man, I was I was hurt for him. You know what I mean? So, you know, just to let you ladies know what, what us guys go through real quick. But go ahead, <laughs> right? go ahead. My fault. It's my bad. It's all good. You know what I'm saying to you? So. All good. All good. Uh, I mean, just to wrap things up, I was going to say, I, uh, we got, we got, a, we, we just finished, last week was episode 10, episode 11 dropping, that. this is episode 11. We just okay. We, we, we just, uh, yeah, they call me Mac 11. Dropped the, the intro with it too. Everybody, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. been ha- hype about that. So, oh, the uh, new intro, I like that. Yeah. Pim, shout pim, out pim, to pim, pim, pim. Media, shout out Junior, real quick, you know, doing his thing. Doing his Appreciate thing. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, that was dope. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about real quick, but the, because I was hearing about the, the Kanye thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Don't just shorten it like that. Don't just shorten the episode like that. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Don't shorten it like that. So, Kanye. And I kind of had that idea to do that. You know what I'm saying, too? But when I said it, people would start, like, you know, kind of laughed at me. But I was going to do it with good intentions, though. So, starting up a church, right? Yep. So I'm gonna say what my idea is first, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. And you got that album coming, Jesus is King. Oh, okay, <laughs> Jesus walks. That's what Jesus you called it. King. Jesus, Jesus King. Jesus King. He already dropped Jesus walks. That was a few. That was back, you know, early Kanye. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's supposed to be woke, right? He's Christian. Anyway, anyway, that's a different topic. So listen. Once I learned the tax shelters that you get from opening a church. I was like, oh, uh-huh. okay, I get it. I get why all these people, all these pastors are so successful because everything's under the church name, whatever, whatever. Not to say, you know, they're stealing, you know, even though I think they're stealing. But what I'm saying is when you put it under a church, whatever, a church is basically a business. It's not for profit. You know, you that's how do you pay the bills? You know, it's the people in the congregation that come in and give tithes and offerings. Yep. And this is how you pay for your band. This is how you pay for your ushers. This is how you pay for the light bill. How you pay for the band, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, no, I'm talking what it's supposed to be for. You know what I'm saying? Too? Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on, I see where you're going with this. Oh, no. But I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So, basically, that's what it's for. It's supposed to be for the light bill, for the heating bill, for guest speakers. You know, this is what it's for. Right? But, if I'm going to get a car, I got to get a nice car. Because God has blessed me. You know? <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm sanctified. It's not even that. You, you listen. You don't want... 
God doesn't want your his servants to be no bro. Come on, man. We gotta look good. I know good. the word. I know the word. We gotta look good. Man. I know the word. I'm a. I know the word. <laughs> so there was a message in there that I decoded, and you didn't decode yet. So this is why I'm more prosperous. Uh-huh. Okay. So listen. <laughs> so when I get the bends now, now. If I'm a good pastor, like if I'm really living what I'm preaching, yeah. how I'm doing it is whatever my real nine to five is at work, when I buy my bins, I put it under the church name. Mm. They'll be taking notes, huh? See, I'm trying to open churches out here. <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. You could do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they couldn't. I was at my job. And I got to make another payment. But there's a little surplus at the church. Yeah, I'm going to skim a little. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying that it's a tax shelter. You know what I mean? These are, This is what's paying for your flights. You know? Guess what? I'm always preaching the word. You know? I'm a pastor. So I'm going to go to Beijing, Hong Kong with, the, you know, the whole sneaker thing going <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Preach they the need, word. They need to preach to the protesters. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Lord, Jesus' name, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying, too? So, so basically, this not through the whole thing. So, I was thinking, yeah, so I was thinking of, you know, doing certain stuff with the church, whatever, whatever, but really preaching, you know, stuff like that. It was a thought, but esoterically, you know what I mean? But anyway, so now I'm hearing about the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. Kardashians been doing this. Yeah, they got to. Yeah, yeah. They been doing this. So, Mama Kardashian. Right, yeah. right. So Kanye can't do it like Mace did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Too? He couldn't do it like that. So my man. They was talking about that on State of the Culture too. Shout out to Joe Budden. Oh, they was they was talking about that. Yeah, they talked about this. They had this oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So shout out, shout out to yeah, State of the Culture. State of the Culture. Revolt TV. Revolt. Yeah, shout out, big shout out to them. So. What you gonna call it? So my man Kanye swagged it out with the music, and these are all ideas I kind of had too. But whatever. When when once you have an idea, it's in free, it's in the universe, it's in free space. Everyone has access to it, so you you can't get mad if someone acts on the idea that you had. So he goes out and he swags out the music, you know, and then he just doesn't say nothing, doesn't really preach, doesn't say where he stands. He just makes music. And it puts it out there, and then you just assume what it's for. Whatever you assume, that's that's the answer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you, whatever the spirit tells you, that's yeah. what the spirit tells you. You know. So what do what do you think about that? Dude? What do you think? I mean, you think do you think that he's doing the right thing? Do you think that he's fucking with people? Do you think that you know he need a scapegoat for that dumb shit he said on TMZ? Like what? what? I mean. I- it's been it's been tough for me. It's been you know I've been having some tough battles with, with Kanye, especially as a as a fan of Kanye's music from his early early career. I uh, it's just every time like I would I would you I would think that at this point I wouldn't be surprised, but at the t- at to this point I'm still surprised at like the different news that I'll hear about him, you know, every few months or you know every so often. Um, you know, whether it was, you know, initially with, you know, him dating Kim or, you know, him uh, um, beefing with, with Drake and all these mm-hmm. other, other other debacles and wearing the, Ma- the MAGA hat and, you know, supporting, you know, conversations with Trump and everything like that. I've had plenty of back and forth where it's like, huh, this is the same Kanye that was, you know, spoken word and all this, all this jazz and, you know, helping out the community. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I really, to be honest with you, I really don't know which direction. Is this a ploy? Is this, you know, another, you know, is it a scheme for him just to make money? You know, um, I, 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 I generally don't know. Um, I mean, I would hope for the best um, and, ho- and you know, hope that he is actually trying to make an impact. But um, when, when, you're, when, you're that, when you're as big as he is, it's, it's really hard to, it's, you're constantly under the microscope. So anything you're doing, um, people are gonna judge you, so it's 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 difficult with the, with a lot of the media reactions okay. for me to actually make my own discernment. I mean, what what I would like I said, I would hope for the best, but as far as if I'm gonna take context clues from my own from what, you know my own experiences and what I'm seeing, I'm, I'm gonna say that this this dude this out here is even, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, so. he's selling hope. Yeah. Which is cool. It's just like dope, you know. Um It's a hustle. I'm not gonna knock it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'm a businessman, I get it. Mm-hmm. Um certain things I just find unethical, but I'm not knocking anyone's hustle. Facts. You know? Yeah. So So what I wanna leave you guys with is just get to the bag, man. Just get to the bag. I don't worry about what's going on in the media. And I, I understand that, you know, we get emotional sometimes and people have a certain platform and we look up to them and we get disappointed. But we got to understand is that they're people just like us. So people can disappoint you and you get hooked on and you have this romanticism with their music or whatever they're doing, yeah. whatever their yeah. art is. And you associate those characters with that person. That person yeah. You know what I mean? I was a big fan of Clint Eastwood and then I see him... I'm like, yo, this dude, I'm, you know what I mean? The Dirty Harry movies. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw what he stood politically, it kind of turned me off a little bit. And, you know. Yeah. So, you know. Um, I judge a book by its cover. Yeah, it's just, you know, just people are people. And people yeah. will always disappoint you. So mm-hmm. what you have to do is just stay true to yourself. You know, be close with your family. Get this bread and enjoy life, man. That's basically it. Champ is here, show. Champ is here. And don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button. You heard? Cheer.